Today we're settling the ultimate debate, Hall Effect versus TMR. Stop fighting stick drift. Your controller's worst enemy is those old friction-based analog sticks. And the solution? Magnets. We're answering three questions. What is the technical difference that matters? Is TMR worth the extra money? And which one truly gives you infinite lifespan? Let's dive in. For those of you new to the channel, I'm Anton, a power engineer, industrial mechanic, and a Red Seal electrician. We cover all kinds of products and topics in an approachable way for the average everyday person. I'm glad you found us. Hello and welcome back to Gears and Tech. Before we can really dive into TMR versus Hall Effect, we need to understand the original enemy, the potentiometer. It's cheap, it's decades old, and it relies on a physical wiper rubbing against a carbon track. Every movement creates dust, debris, and wear. This friction causes the signal noise your console interprets as ghost inputs. The result, that frustrating little drift. The fix is simple. Take the physical contact out of the equation. Let's see how the magnetic techs do this. Enter the hero of the hour, Hall Effect Sticks. It uses magnets and sensors to detect the movement of the actual stick versus sliding that wiper on that carbon trace. What we've got in here is a magnet, and as it moves, there's a little sensor that detects how much that magnet has moved relative to the position of the sensor. When you tilt the stick, you move the magnet. The Hall sensor measures the change in the magnetic field strength and direction, no contact at all, no friction, no wear. That's your answer. Infinite lifespan of the wiper. Now keep in mind, these do also have a little button, which you're not gonna see very well here, right here, which is known as the L3 and the R3 buttons. And it makes it so that when you push down on here, this little button off to the side activates. Now I have seen those wearing out as well. So even though the actual stick portion isn't worn out, the buttons might wear out. So it's still not, you know, infinite lifespan, but the large reason why a lot of us are looking at new controllers is stick drift, which is absolutely caused by those wipers, which are now touch free. There's zero contact and it just floats around there with magnets. Now as a bit of a technical deep dive, the output is a linear voltage proportional to the magnetic field strength. This provides a clean and reliable high resolution signal. The performance curve of Hall Effect sticks is slightly different than the performance curve of a standard analog stick and that's why some people still do prefer the analog sticks for that performance curve. Now you can simulate differences in in software settings usually and within the game you can change kind of how that curve reads with the software but the stick itself creates that linear curve which is it's still pretty tunable but it is something to keep in mind so is hall effect perfect well mostly yes but there is something to consider and that is since this is detecting the movement of that magnet it can also be affected by other magnetic fields but what if we could get all of the benefits of hall effect that has better immunity to that magnetic interference. And that brings us to the new kid on the block. Meet the TMR, Tunnel Magneto Resistance. This is the next evolution of magnetic sensing. Instead of one sensor, TMR uses an array of tiny magnetic tunnel junctions. Hall Effect measures the change in the field. TMR measures the resistance that changes as the field rotates. It uses a quantum mechanical effect called electron tunneling. Now I know you're already thinking, man, that is a lot of real technical info for a simple little a simple little analog stick. And you know, it sounds complicated, but really we're still just talking about a magnet moving around. The key difference is sensitivity and temperature stability. TMR sensors are generally more sensitive and less affected by temperature shifts. This means you can get even finer control and even less risk of thermal drift. They also typically have a higher SNR, signal to noise ratio, than the standard Hall Effect sticks. This technical detail translates 
relates directly to a better input signal, meaning your character starts moving exactly when you tell them to and stops exactly when you let go. While the Hall effect is a massive leap over those potentiometers that use those physical wipers, TMR is that tiny little incremental improvement over the Hall effect stick. Where are you gonna see TMR? Usually it's gonna be in a premium controller. A lot of the controllers you see on the table here will either have the standard potentiometers or be upgraded with the Hall effect sticks. But TMR isn't really in the kind of mid tier or especially in the low end controllers. It's more in the high end ones or it's available as an upgrade kit which you can buy on Amazon. If you are pretty tech savvy, I've shown how to replace these sticks in the past. Swapping for Hall effect is exactly the same as TMR. It's just a different core stick that you're replacing. So I will put links in the description to Hall effect and TMR sticks if it's something that you think you wanna try out. And definitely you can check out the videos on this channel where we actually installed Hall Effect sticks on a standard DualSense controller that was experiencing drift to start with. So for the gamer at home, what is the best option? And really the answer depends on the question that you're asking. What is the best option? TMR is the best, but we're talking about the average gamer. We're not talking about professionals. We're not talking about streamers. We're not talking about people who have lots of money to spend on the best equipment. So in that case, Hall Effect is perfectly acceptable. In fact, this guy right here, the Hex Phantom controller, this is my personal favorite. I've been using the Hex line of controllers for quite a few years now, and they even come with a Hall Effect stick upgrade option. It's only a few extra dollars for the Hall Effect version, and it gives you so many more years of trouble-free gaming. Like if I'm buying a new controller, especially anything other than a standard DualSense, I'm always looking for the Hall Effect version. Now, if you're watching this video and you have found a TMR controller and it's the same price or a comparable price to a Hall Effect one and you're not worried about the difference, TMR is going to be the better option because it gives you that little bit more precision. But I wouldn't hyper obsess over it like a lot of people are. TMR is definitely the hot new topic. You know, everybody's really like, but does it have TMR? Well, no, you don't really need it. So we don't need to get so excited about it. But at a minimum, you should be looking for a controller that has Hull Effect sticks in it. We don't need to suffer with stick drift anymore. So the old DualSense style that has the analog wipers, don't even bother. You're gonna get stick drift. It's gonna happen so much sooner than you think you should get it. Hull Effect is definitely the minimum upgrade that I would recommend. Keep in mind, TMR does offer that signal to noise ratio, which is better. So you're gonna have less inter interference, it's going to be less susceptible to temperature changes, and it will give you that little bit better performance. But really, we're arguing about such a small amount of performance that it's, it's really not worth hyper obsessing over. If you're a pro or a casual gamer that's looking for peak perfection in all of your inputs and hardware, then definitely TMR is where it's at. And as TMR gets cheaper and cheaper and gets closer and closer to Hall Effect, I really do expect that we're gonna see TMR as the only option. It's just, we're too early for that. Right now there is a difference in price and that does trickle down to the consumer at the final cost of your controller. Now the real impact is that we no longer have to do controller calibrations. No more trying to blow air down the sides of here or open it up and try to clean it out with some q-tips and some wipes and all that those days are gone buying a medium to high grade controller is more affordable than ever with Hall Effect sticks and increasingly more with those TMR sticks. And it's not just the high-end controllers as well. This Zero controller sells for about the same price as a DualSense controller. It offers programmable back buttons as well for the same price. And this one has Hall Effect sticks already included. So you don't have to look at the high-end controllers. It's in medium and low spec controllers as well. The era of drifting controllers, it's finally ending at long last. And the future of gaming inputs is clean, it's precise, and it's magnetic. If you wanna know what this magnetic tech has on triggers, because I'm sure you've seen Hall Effect triggers as well, it's a whole nother topic for a whole nother video. Let me know in the comments, do you have a Hall Effect controller? Do you have a TMR controller? What's your personal preference? Have you noticed the difference? How long is the longest Hall Effect controller lasting so far? Have you had yours very long? I've got this guy right here, which I've had for over a year now, and it doesn't even have a hint of stick drift. So we are looking pretty good so far. Drop a comment down below. I'll put links to all of the controllers you've seen here. Again, my personal favorites are those Hex Phantoms. I love my Hex Phantom. I'll put 
put a link down below for that guy as well. You can save a little bit of money using our discount code and we'll catch you on the next one. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end of this video. We hope you enjoy the content in this video and we'd love to have you come back. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And for those subscribers who are looking for that extra special thing that you can do to support this channel, consider joining our members group. That's where we're building this community, the Gears and Tech community, where we can all enjoy content together. You'll get special perks, which we'd love for you to check out by clicking the link down below. For those of you who are just happy to watch the video, that's okay too. You can check out some of our other content right over here, where we've got some previous videos that have already been uploaded and enjoyed by many of our viewers already. We do hope to see you again. This has been Gears and Tech. Have a great day.